the black people really need sunscreen here in africa if someone sees you going to buy sunscreen or applying sunscreen they'll just look at you strangely because most people think that it's only white people that need sunscreen a lot of us don't know the benefits of sunscreen and so we do not use sunscreen i can say in my extended family there are only about one two three maybe five of us that use sunscreen and i would have said i was the only one but let me give credit to some of my cousins that you know i think also use sunscreen and this is to show you how much people don't know what sunscreen is its benefits or if we really need it as black people what can it do for us so sunscreen is a substance that protects the skin from the sun's harmful rays yes the sun can be harmful to us i know what most of us know about the sun is that it's um, is a source of vitamin d but too much exposure to the sun can harm your skin so as black people we have something that can protect us from the sun and it is called melanin this melanin is what is responsible for our dark hair dark eyes color of your eyes and color of your skin so everybody regardless of your skin color both black people and white people we have the same amount of cells that produce this melanin these cells are called melanocytes we all have the same amount but the difference is that depending on your skin color you produce more of it as black people we produce more and bigger melanin cells but white people produce smaller yet we all have the same amount of those cells one of the benefits of this melanin is to protect us from the harmful rays of the sun and it's because of this thing that most people think that black people don't need sunscreen however the spf that is the sun protection factor of this melanin is only 13 that is in dark people and in white people is only about three to four but the average recommended SPF is 30 and, and this means that melanin can only help us to an extent but it's not enough to protect you from the harmful rays of the sun. Interesting fact, the modern sunscreen was actually created because a Swiss chemist went mountain climbing and then he got sunburned and then when he came back he realized that he needed to create something to protect himself from this sunburn and other people like him. That this was actually the reason why the modern sunscreen was invented but of course our ancestors had already had so many different methods to protect themselves from getting sunburned i'm sure by now you'll be asking this melanin and sunscreen what is it protecting us from why do we need to use it why is it beneficial first of all skin cancer yes too much exposure to sunlight can cause skin cancer and it is also a common belief that black people cannot have skin cancer which is not true black people can have skin cancer it is just that it is less common in black people so it is said that every one person in hundred thousand black people have skin cancer but in white people it is every 30 in hundred thousand so we are less likely to have it doesn't mean that we cannot have it there's a bad side to this unfortunately we are most likely to die from skin cancer and this is because of this belief that black people cannot have skin cancer so when someone notices a lesion or an abnormal thing on their skin they don't go to the hospital because they don't think it's anything serious but when they now decide to go to the hospital later on it might be too late and then it might not be able to be treated and then most people die from skin cancer another fact did you know that the popular musician bob marley actually died from skin cancer yes this is true bob marley had a type of skin cancer called melanoma and unfortunately it was diagnosed late and by the time he was taken to the hospital it had already spread to his lungs and to his brain and this is what killed him so this is why it is important as black people to be very health conscious and to go to the hospital whenever we notice any abnormal skin lesions because we have higher mortality rate with skin cancer apart from health reasons we have some aesthetic beauty reasons why we need to apply sunscreen yes although in black people the sun damage is not so visible because your skin is dark but it is actually happening i remember as a child there was one time i was outside washing clothes and i was under the sun for so many hours i was wearing a short sleeve shirt 
and then by the time I was done I noticed that the exposed part of my hand was actually darker like there was a visible mark that showed that this part had been burnt by sun it was my first time ever experiencing it I didn't even think much of it I just started saying oh see my natural short sleeve I didn't even think that oh my skin is being damaged or anything like that because I was not even aware of this but sun damage is something that happens to our skin as black people black people can experience sunburn that can be peeling and painful so this is something that we should also use sunscreen to protect when there's too much exposure of sunlight we, there can be hyperpigmentation so there's something called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation so when you have acne that's pimples on your face and it it goes sometimes it leaves a dark mark now when you're exposed to sun that dark mark starts to get darker although your entire body is getting darker because of the exposure to sunlight but those dark marks are also getting darker exposure to sunlight can cause aging so you begin to age faster you begin to look old faster these are all beauty reasons but it's important to look good and if you can prevent yourself from getting burnt aging faster having dark marks on your face then i think you should so this is how it works when your skin is exposed to too much sunlight the cells begin to get damaged like there is destruction of the dna of your skin cells and how does your skin defend itself it starts to create more melanin let's create more melanin and what does melanin do it makes your skin darker so when you notice that your skin is getting darker it means that your skin cells is already damaged at that point it's already damaged and your skin is compensating and trying to protect itself by getting darker so all those people that like to go out to tan and you know bathe themselves in sunlight you're actually damaging your skin especially if you do not have sunscreen you are damaging your skin i actually read that in the olden days i think coco chanel traveled and then she was exposed to too much sunlight and became darker and then it was then seen as a beauty trend to actually have darker skin also i also read that it is seen as a thing of privileged as that means only people that travel and are exposed to the good life actually have darker skin so um it's a way to show wealth this was in the 1920s however this did not affect asia because my asian people if you guys know i schooled in china so my asian people love white skin so this is one thing that did not affect asia they still love pale white skin regardless of how it's um, affected the western world so every tan that you see on your body is just your body trying to adapt to the injury and damage that it is suffering sunscreen provides an added protection to your melanin against the harmful rays of the sunlight and it is recommended for all skin types regardless take note even we as black people there are different shades of black skin and each shade has different sensitivity levels to sunlight so regardless of your skin it is important that you use sunscreen in order to ensure that your skin remains protected and it has that youthful glow use your sunscreen and it's important that you use sunscreen with spf of over 30. like i said that is the average recommended spf that can protect us from the harmful rays of the sun also hmm, it is said that you have to apply sunscreen every two hours <laughs> i know that this this is very difficult because a lot of us only apply sunscreen in the morning and forget about our sunscreen for the rest of the day if you're one of us i say us because sometimes i am part of it identify yourself in the comment section because the struggle is real but the reason why we are told to apply sunscreen after every two hours is because when you apply it the active ingredient starts to break down so as the sun exposure to your skin those ingredients that actually protecting you will start to break down and they will get weaker and it will protect you again after every two hours plus sweat can also like wash off the sunscreen from your face and maybe if you go swimming that can wash it off if you're not using a water resistant sunscreen so that's why it's important that we apply it every two hours as i think this is very unrealistic but we have to try 
we have to try especially those of us that want the aesthetic benefits and also to protect us from skin cancer if you can you should avoid going out when the sun rays are at its peak so this is usually from like 10 a.m to 2 p.m the sun is very harsh if you can avoid going out do so if you can't wear protective clothing cover yourself cover your body don't expose yourself wear sunglasses wear hats you know to just protect yourself from the harmful rays of sunlight so guys if you have not been using sunscreen before now you know the benefits of using sunscreen and you're educated and aware of some of the harmful effects of um, over ex too much exposure to sunlight and you can now make a decision if from here henceforth you want to use sunscreen or you still decide not to use sunscreen so yeah thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye bye